What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Chromecast. We are, uh, it's about, it's about four o'clock. We normally do this about two o'clock. Yep. We're filming videos. It's a big, long story. We're not going to get into it today. Filming our wide yep. shot with a Pixel 7 Pro, seeing how that works out. We'll see. Uh, it's over. It's over. And, uh, and yeah, everything's great. I love it. Uh, you know, we're here. We're talking. We're going to podcast. And I love it. It's Sidetrack Thursday. It's Sidetrack Thursday. Do all the watch faces <laughs> do that? The little, or is it just certain ones? So. Yeah, just I think depends. it's just. I think it's. it's yeah, this one. This yeah, one this one just the text. Love it. Uh, I'm Joe. Uh, and this is uh, Robbie over here. What's up? If you're watching the video, if not, that's his voice. No, no, over here. Just, <laughs> just, that's we'll, his. we'll pan my voice to the left. <laughs> that, that would be awesome. That is. Or, that, is that would be. That great. is Roberto's or Rebby's Rebby. Rob. voice over there. The other voice you're hearing or seeing this guy here is, is Gabriel. Gabriel, can you yes. see his voice? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. You can see this. You can just see it if you're watching uh, the video. If you aren't watching the video, I swear we're not drinking or anything. Yeah, this is. Yeah, it's just. Uh, yeah, it's been Oat a couple. Couple. <laughs> couple it's been a couple weeks of some craziness. Um, but uh, if you aren't watching the video, I get it. If you just want to listen, that's totally it's cool. Fun. A lot of times, if I'm going out on a walk or whatever, I just listen to podcasts. I'm obviously not going to watch the video version. Sure. Yeah. But if you are in a spot where you want to watch the chromecast you can you can chromecast the chromecast podcast yeah. the cool thing about the video because my wife listens to podcasts all day but most of the ones she listens to are video podcasts yeah you can listen to it you don't have to watch it that's right so like if she's watching it but then she's like oh i gotta go get the kids from school right lock your phone and boom you just keep listening it's a beautiful yeah. thing exactly uh and you have, this- to have youtube premium though. no i was trying to see no. yeah for if you want to listen in the background yeah. uh on yeah. on as soon as you close a video, <laughs> here's what it is. Yes, yeah, we, we did crest over five thousand subscribers. Yes, so yeah, we are we are getting close, close to, to six five point one now. When we when we hit six thousand, we're gonna give away some stuff. Yeah, and you just all you gotta do is Subscribe. click the link. And tell your friends. We got tell so friends. much stuff to give. We away. We got a bunch of stuff to give away. Tell your and pets. We're we're gonna probably have multiple. Didn't some we're more show do up? Today? Probably two giveaways running at the same time, but it is what it is. What? Some more stuff show up today? Uh, it's on the way. I don't know. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's something else. The stuff today wasn't giveaway, was it? No, because no, no, those okay. were from that same yeah, company. Yeah, but right. no, it's not the. The one FedEx we're guy rang away. the doorbell, and I told him I was like, "Dude, you got to stop. We're running out of room up here." Because yeah. he he's Dude, I just he's sent here back more like frequently. Twelve Chromebooks. Yeah, but yeah. he's here more frequently than our UPS guy. I mean, yeah. He, he was telling me about his house he was building. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And all that kind of stuff. I've been working on it forever. FedEx has been. Where Jody uh, at? Yeah, I know. Where you at, For Jody? some reason, fishing. these companies have been sending a lot of FedEx. Jody's fishing yeah. before it gets too cold. I yeah, guarantee right. it. He's guarantee taking his it. last trip in. Guarantee it. He's but awesome. yeah, He's we, are, we are giving away some stuff. We're giving away a, uh, a, a set of five. So five different winners will get yeah, not a set. Yeah, sorry, we have five that were yeah. brain. You know, it's it's getting there. I'm gonna get somebody's one. Somebody's be like, here. oh, there's only one. He said set. <laughs> yeah. set of five. A it's set, a set of, of one. A set of one. You get uh, one set of we're one. We're breaking up the family. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But we're giving away uh, five uh, Lenovo smart clock essentials with Alexa built in. Yeah. They didn't send us the, the Google Assistant. Yeah, ones. which is not the little Alexa. Yeah, it's not the little Deal essential that has the <laughs> it's assistant. Free. It's the big essential that looks like the regular Lenovo t- I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I replaced my <clears throat> essential smart clock in the room with a I went when that nest was on sale for like yeah. fifty bucks or whatever. I think I still owe you money for that. You check uh-huh. to see if I sent that to you or not. No, sorry, I just thought about that. Anyway, uh the I've replaced it with that. But even with that smart that that screened device and stuff like in my room, play some music. Yeah. What's the weather? Right. That's that's it. Right. So if it's Alexa, it doesn't know, matter. Whatever. Yeah. You just got to remember which which phrase to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's it. Yo. Hey, hey, you over there. Hey. Hey, you. Maybe matter will fix all of that. Yeah, maybe, maybe. that would be not great. really because it's that. the other way around. It's not yet. But we're also giving away a brand new sealed in the box. We haven't even gotten this one out of the box. Lenovo Chromebook Duet 3. That's the one I'm Great really excited about. That's right. what we might just... Away, I don't just know. Give it away. I, we might just do it. We might just call it. <laughs> just obviously like we're... It's yeah, like YouTube growth is a weird thing. Like obviously there are channels that blow up and... But yeah. with this style of content, we put out one video a week. 
and it's very long form. And it's long form, and like this is just a slow, you know, uh, slow turn of of people finding and and you know getting interested and you spreading should, the word you a little bit. Just done the giveaway at five thousand. Yeah, well, we'll do it we'll at five point one. We'll tell everybody we we messed up. We we put six. We meant five. Meant five. Whoops. That's Here we right. go. That's Nothing. right. Have so uh, we'll do that soon, and then we've got another one coming, and then we have some other devices to give away. It's it's fun at times. I'm trying to get these going. What what, what what's pay. happening over here? I did pay him. Okay, so had to put his mind at ease. Good, uh, all right. Good. Know, I'm good, sitting good. through this whole thing, worried, <laughs> worried about whether or not I was going to like jump over right. the table. You or should anything. give me you my should. money. Straight, oh, where's straight. my money, man? <laughs> <laughs> where's my money? <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we have a lot of giveaways. I like trying to get like we have multiple things to give away here soon. The next one that we're going to announce. Probably next week, I think. I don't know. Maybe soon. Uh, next couple weeks. That'll be a two-week giveaway. So we'll just do that one. Two weeks done. And then we have another uh, set of devices that we're going to be giving away. You don't get oh, the whole set of them. Oh, box of them. You got a box of stuff. To give away. <laughs> so Joe yeah. just wants the boxes out of I the just, office. Guano bowls. <laughs> <laughs> I just, Collect the whole set. <laughs> I just want to uh, I want to clean up the office. I want to see <laughs> the floors. That's amazing. We should. We should just once a week just find some random, be like, well, we don't use this. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> wants it, the bucket though. into the box. <laughs> Send it. Exactly. There's a OG Google Home. Over. Yeah, that's right. No, that's my no, wife. We, gotta keep we can't that do one. that. We keep that. <laughs> we keep that one. Here's some random video gear that we're not using some anymore. Some lenses. Is that a Nest Point over there? Yes. And uh, earlier when we were filming, I was yeah, like, we, hmm, have a point. we should probably connect that, that to get. Yep. We were filming a uh, a video that required some uh, cloud gaming, yeah. and it would probably be smart to maybe hook it in yep. over there so it can. Yeah. Why yep. don't we have that hooked up? We should. I don't know. Who knows? Man. So much stuff in this, this office. studio. Like, if we, we ever have to move. Move, it's gonna Lord be a help us. nightmare. We're paying somebody. Yeah, Lord <laughs> help us. It would be a nightmare. Like Michael Fisher just moved and nobody saw him for like a week. Exactly. He's like, oh, I'm back. That I'm would, ready to yeah, do a video. That would oh, be yeah. Us. I mean, that'd be us for sure. Yep. Um, but yeah, uh, we're giving away some stuff. I always try to get these going before the holidays, especially when we have some cool stuff to give away. Yep. So please go check the link in the description. If you're, you know, listening to this, it's in the show notes and you can get entered to win. It's super easy. You go sign in with Gleam, or you don't have to sign in technically. You can just yeah, click you can through get, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and get subscribed, and then there's a bunch of other ways to get entered to win. Go to the website. Go to big the, banner at the top. The big banner at the top. I mean, we're making... Green, big trying, green banner. We're trying to make this as easy as possible for y'all. We should give away some golf clubs. I'm curious where yeah, we're at sure, now. why not? <laughs> Robbie probably still has some floating around. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're getting close. Uh, we might just go ahead and do it. I don't know. Holy moly. Have y'all looked at the number of entries? <clears throat> no, I have not once. This is not the number of people. It's the number yeah. of entries. Yeah. Right. yeah. 150. It's lots. 118,000. Okay, close. It's lots. That's a lot. It's lots. So I need to send an email. I'll do that today of, hey, everyone, we saw that you got entered to win. Please make sure you subscribe because we can't verify it because the It's really YouTube... hard to believe that that many people or that many entries exist yeah. and our subscriber count has not grown. Yeah, it's and they don't much technically faster. like yeah, YouTube doesn't allow it. YouTube doesn't allow for the uh, the API to force force it. So I just have a question afterwards. Hey, did you subscribe and people could just click like, yes. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So I any get it. You, you can unsubscribe after the giveaway if you want to. Anywho. I'm excited about uh, uh, giving this stuff away. We love doing this. It's yeah. it's a fun way to kind of give back, and and you know we obviously have some people that enter giveaways and don't really like uh, you know follow along with our content, which is which is whatever. That's but fun. there's a lot of people who have won that we talk to, and they're like, oh, I've been following you all since 2016, and you know it's that's that's the cool that's the cool part. Yeah. The the big giveaway we did with with Logitech giving away the Chrome packs. Uh, the winner there that was awesome. uh, was, a, was an educator who had been following us for for yeah. several years, and so that was that was really cool. Um, okay, let's talk. Uh, let's talk Pixel Watch first, just because I'm excited about Pixel Watch, and we all are wearing our Pixel watches saw, today. Last I, week, I don't think I was wearing mine. I saw a thread by I think it was Ryan uh, Hager. Ryan Hager. Yeah. Did he he left? Uh, Android police, didn't he? Is he with? Esper? Didn't he go with Esper? Yeah, with uh, David Ruddick. But yeah, he had a he had a pretty. Uh, I think yeah yeah it was Ryan. Um, a pretty damning thread for the Pixel Watch. Really, really. Yeah. Um, I know he he effect. did tweet about the smell. Oh, so bad. Yeah, but I don't no, know. If we I talked did not about see that. It. No, we this, did. We didn't. But this. I didn't we'll see his thread. Was it? 
That's what I'm, I'm pulling it up. Was it about quick. the smell or something else? Because no. <laughs> he did tweet. He's like, yeah. I, it smells really bad. And it, 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 it's a very. Kenny was like, Kenny last night was like, oh, thank you for letting me borrow this. I'm like, you, you got over the smell. Oh, right. And he's like, I'm no, I, I definitely smell it. Ryan went to Osam Privacy. Oh. Okay. Who then? Who went to Esper? Because David That's Reddick, Reddick went to Esper. Someone else went there though too. I can't remember who it was. Uh, didn't uh, didn't came? Did came end up over there? Ooh, maybe they've, they've been snatching up people. Yeah. So uh, yeah, he said one tweet pixel watch review, which ended up being a thread. And my, <laughs> this is brutal. Imagine someone once saw someone else briefly use an Apple Watch, then described how they thought it all worked to yet a third person. <laughs> This is the Pixel Watch. Oh, boy. If you've never used an Apple Watch, it's good, but it won't make up for the ecosystem gap. He goes on further to say, I hesitate to say where it's dead. Partners love it. People buy them, but I can't help but see Pixel Watch is a very clear and conscious statement. Google can't or won't compete at the sort of bundled ecosystem level that Apple yeah, does. Sure. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hardware isn't the same quality level, though pricing just about is. Performance remains janky and slow, which I haven't had any to. of that. Battery life is frequently sub day. I've not once not, not made it through a day. I'm going on two days right now, and I'm still. Yeah, I got, I got into the second day the other I'm day. I'm at 17%. Um, two days. Many are sub paywalled oh, features. Okay. That's the whole thing. Like, oh, Fitbit, Fitbit is a paywall only. thing. I'm like, just you don't, don't have use to it. Have, or Google like, fits. You can still that. use it without Pro or the one hundred percent. Yeah, like, like I'm not going to turn because I I haven't used a single feature from Fitbit Premium on. Can't it. Can't you use Google Fit on these? Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could if yeah. you want. Google but I mean, Fit's not bad. You still get all of Fitbit. Yeah. I never. I had four verses and never once used had, Fitbit Premium. All right. It, so what else would? Um, what else is paywall? There's nothing else. That's paywalled. it. Um, huh. Okay. Oh. It feels like poorly thought copy. It's not a thoughtful product. Uh, just Google saying we can make our own wearable. Uh, um, it's a copy based on a cargo cult understanding of other success for a checkbox. Huh. Uh, uh, I mean, I, probably you should just buy a Fitbit. And I'm like, you've not used the latest Fitbit, clearly. Yeah, I've seen three reviews of the Fitbit of the four, first of four, and, and all of them say the same thing that we did. Of like. What happened here? Yeah. Like you stripped yeah. everything out of and this. I, I generally agree with Ryan on a lot of stuff, but I disagree with most of what he said there. I don't feel like this is a copy. I think this is a Google Watch, very much a Google yeah. Watch, and I think it's good. Yeah, I, I, I do agree with this. At the end, he says, I caveat this all by adding, I despise Apple's business strategy and hate much of what the company does for its unmitigated greed. I'm like, but you're going to bash another company for not replicating it. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, right, because, because... I hate what Apple does as a company, yeah. but it's precisely what they do as a company that makes you like their watch and their ecosystem better than Google's. Yeah. And so you can't have both. If, right. If Google wants to make an uh, ecosystem and a product like Apple, they're going to have to do the same type of business yeah. practice. So and Google very sense. easily could. They very easily they could, could lock down they their services in a heartbeat. Yeah. He says, I don't like using iOS, but the Apple Watch's near decade advantage here is patently clear. Yeah. It, Google's generation is behind. Gen. That's the only part I... Google's Sorry, Google, Google. Heard Hey, somewhere. Google. <laughs> That's Ryan. I didn't say that. Yeah. Ryan Hager said that, yeah. not me. Yeah. Um, we all have loved it. Yeah, um, I, and, and there's people that respond in there like, I'm not sure what your experience is, but yeah, this I've loved this watch. Performance yeah. especially. I feel like I have not once had no. a hiccup. Not even a little like glitch. Like, no. And I feel been, like, like Ryan, I feel like his expectations must be so far above... Which is weird. Anything Why? realistic, and, it's a, and then you have it's like a Marquez, first gen. It's a first gen. yeah, Marquez, who did the waveform, where he said, "I'm done with the Pixel Watch," and it feels like I think you put it back. I, I love Marquez. I, I love his stuff. It's out but of touch. He feels it feels out of touch. Like, what is your expectation? And then for his cohort right. to say, "Oh, it got scratched up while I was mountain climbing." Well. I banked it on a bunch of rocks and it okay. got scratches on it. I went and did the Iron Man but competition said, and it's got a nick in it. My Apple Watch is all scratched up too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, come yeah. back to reality, guys. Like, come yeah. on. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah. It, it's, it's so easy. And, and I get this way with Chromebooks if I'm not careful. Yeah. I mean, we don't touch do. every tech product, but <clears throat> we get a lot of Chromebooks that come through here. So it's really easy to lose touch with what actually matters to the general public. Yeah. Right. And what matters to me is somebody who just has Chromebooks being tossed at me all exactly, the time. And yeah. so, um, you know, I, I imagine that at some point it gets really easy to just not just be, you know, <clears throat> there's all these people that are jaded and all that stuff. I don't feel like these are coming from that. I feel like this is a, you've lost touch with 
what people want out of something like this. Right. Um, and it's hard for you to remember. Like maybe you've used an Apple Watch for five years and then you put this on to try it and you realize like, yeah, it is. There's a, there is a huge gap. Sure. Absolutely. But there was a huge gap between iPhone and Pixel when they first launched the Pixel. Exactly. And I would argue that that gap is closed. And I, I've written a note about uh, an article I just just now thought about like, hmm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to write that. Um, to, you know, to consider for a second what the Apple, the first Apple Watch was. Mm-hmm. Like, remember what people said about it. Like, I want to go back and read some of the reviews mm-hmm. of it and stuff. Yeah. It was not good. Like, it had all sorts of shortcomings and, and failings and terrible battery life and no applications and very limited use cases. Yeah. And over the course of multiple years, they've made it better. Well, Google's going to do the same thing with this as well. Right. But for the for the <coughs> thirsty public that wanted a Wear OS alternative to the Apple Watch, right. This is delivering. And all that's, of that that's my thing is like if you're coming from generations of Apple watches and that's what you're accustomed to and you're accustomed to the latest Apple watch and you went to this, are you going to be disappointed? Probably because you're one, the ecosystem shift. I mean, right. Obviously, it's going to be a, a you know, there's going to be a big learning curve. But if you've come from the Wear OS ecosystem, I don't see how you could be disappointed in this watch. There, there are some really nice ones out there as far as. What did I saw? Somebody just did a uh, a limited run Naruto. Mm. Who was it? Uh, anyways, but it's a Wear OS watch. It's a watchmaker, but they made a Wear OS Naruto. It's like fifteen hundred dollars. Is yeah. it really nice? I'm sure. Is the Wear OS experience any better? No. Yeah. There's no way it is. I no one's it. made a Wear OS watch that they're like, this is it. This is the poster child of Wear OS. And this is it because like even my wife i try she won't let me buy her one because she is so happy with her galaxy watch because she came from the basic fitbit tracker not a fit oh, yeah. like the i mean base. that's that's yeah. a huge she's never had a smart watch and she went straight to the galaxy watch 4 she's like i love my galaxy i don't want the pixel watch and i'm like no just try it on you're gonna oh, what like you it. do she, yeah yeah you just don't know it yet but I, I think the expectations for a lot of people that they're putting on this watch are very skewed Barry. Yeah, and, and I think so I think, I think you know you and I have both used Wear OS watches enough to know like uh, the shortcomings yeah. <laughs> of so many of them, and in this Pixel Watch, I mean, not absolutely perfect. It's a first gen product, but it's it's delivering for the yeah. most part. And I can say the complaints that I the legitimate are. Does it have shortcomings? Absolutely, it's a piece of hardware. It's a man made piece of hardware. I mean, whatever. But the shortcomings that have bothered me about all of my Wear OS dev- devices, this is the only one that I don't have those complaints. Could the battery life be a little better? Yeah, but I also agree with Marquez on this. If a watch isn't going to go 48 hours, it doesn't matter if it's going to go 25. Exactly. Yep. You're going to bed, you're going to charge it. I yep. charge mine while I'm showering and getting ready for bed. In that hour and a half period, it's, good to it's go. fully charged. Yeah. You take an hour and a half long shower? Kramer over here. <laughs> <laughs> Shower. <laughs> Have you seen that episode of Seinfeld? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's Kramer in does the it. shower. Well, yeah. Kramer takes these long showers, and Jerry's like, What are you doing yeah. in there? And so now Kramer starts following people around, taking notes of how they how? shower. Oh yeah. Like, God. get out of here. And next thing oh. you know, he's at the gym, and there's like dudes around him taking showers in one of those like men showers. Yeah. Where there's dudes all in there, and he's just sitting there taking, taking notes, notes, and he gets beat up, obviously. Yeah. No, I'm talking like, Put it on the yeah, charger, I'm go kidding. get that. You know, that's yeah. not what everything goes lost get a, those steps. Then now. get a cup of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you're right. It's like if it's gonna go over two days, that's cool. Like then you can yeah. you, then you can have that gap. But if not, if it's like a day and a half, which I mean, again, I my I've done almost two days off. I'm of it. I'm yeah. coming I'm coming up on you know full full two days now, and I'm at seventeen percent. Yeah, but other than my and my, have used it like yeah, it's not like I'm right. just like babying it and making sure and I have always right. on display. The Galaxy's not bad. It's not no, good, no, no, no. but Galaxy, it's not bad. But Galaxy's other fine. than my Tick Watch Pro. I don't have a single Wear OS watch that if I were going out of town for one day, I'd be like, no, nah, I don't have to take my charger. Oh, I'm taking yeah. my charger wherever I go. Yeah. I miss that, about my, was I miss like that, that about my They're, Fitbit. Yeah, you could take a weekend and be like, yeah, I'm good. But, <laughs> but like the the things that I used my Fitbit for as a smartwatch are so much better on this that I'm willing, absolutely willing to be like, ah, cool, I got to charge it each night. Right. I don't care. Yeah. Like, it's worth I would, the, I would it's, make that trade yeah, every it's day. It's worth the, the every added day. value and the additional features. There's been so much sure. stuff around charging. It won't charge from your phone, right? No. Okay. It should. And I mean, and other Chi chargers, yes or no? No. no. That's the verdict. So, it says it is, but it's not. So, yeah, there's some fun <laughs> charging stuff around there. And But, you know, my, my watch just alerted me, um, and I was able to see and read it. I pulled it up. 
that my my little sister got engaged. She's what? In, she's nice. In I forgot Finally. that you had a little sister. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. That's cool. That's yeah. really cool. So excited about that. Yeah, that's awesome dope. So your watch told you that? Yeah, I yeah. looked in exactly. and it just, I saw my sister said, I said yes. And I was like, I said what? yes to <laughs> No way. Nice. I had that's sick. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so the, the charger itself for the Pixel Watch will charge like Everything. all my earbuds. <laughs> um, they all are just standard Qi. So what that tells me is that 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 little puck is chi plus something else. Yeah. There's probably like almost yeah. like an NFC tag, some kind of a simple NFC thing, thing that just tells the watch it's fine. Yeah. Other than that, the watch goes, "Ooh, wireless charging." Wait a second, no, can't do that because yeah, on the on the Samsung charger, it's like it would kick on for a second and then I'd like go like I mean, be, it, try to set it down and then be boo, and then it never actually charged. Yeah. Yeah. Which they that did, is the weird they did thing. Program I, like a little error in it now. Like oh, if it really sits good. on okay, a chi well, charger good. for. About two minutes. That's good. It'll pop up and say there's something wrong. That is good. But like, yeah. I'm not dogging anybody. We get excited about stuff. We we see something. We tweet it. Like whatever. But sure. we generally try to vet most things. It's like, y- you know, you had these uh, couple tweets that were like, oh, Chi Charger work with the with the Pixel Watch, and then you get these articles that are coming out, and it's like. Oh no! It doesn't actually charge. Right. It might even might pop up for a second saying that it's charging. Right. But it's not because that's what. Yeah, the, the nice. first time we saw nice. it, I put mine. I did it with mine, and actually the battery went down one percent. And I'm yeah. like, I, I don't know if it's legit or not. But I mean, we've yeah. seen that. Like Robbie said, we've seen like different phones and things like that that you put it on a certain charger that it's not certain whatever. And same thing with cables. If it's a cable that your device is like not yeah. compatible with, it's gonna be like, no, nah, that's not yeah. gonna work. So. Right. 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 So let's talk through a couple of the accessories. I guess mainly one accessory, but then also some bands. So we all have uh, we oh, all have one accessory. We got on our, our bumpers w- on. We got our bumpers Bump, on. Bumper gang. We're the bumper crew. <laughs> I'll take mine off since it's so easy to remove and take mine off. Yeah, my, pop my it watch off. Band. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so this is from a brand called Rinky Ring K E yep. Rinky. Yep. And uh, I don't know who found these originally, but uh, so JoJo found. There's JoJo a, wrote about one. their. Well, she originally had it on her list of best phone cases for the Pixel Rinky. Oh, well, I've, I've bought Rinky yeah. cases for years, but so I don't know. Is I she the them. one that mentioned the? She mentioned the the metal one they yeah. made. So uh, it had like a little stick on piece you put around right. it, and then and so it's like you put it on. It's that's it. But it's probably a little thinner than this, I would imagine. Yeah. But because it's thin metal, it's more of a scratch resistant thing. It's probably not going to protect it if it's that close to it uh, from, from any kind of bumps or whatever. Um, and then right, I mean, it was like a week after yeah. they, they put these out. And they come in two packs, and they all come with a clear one, and then you get the color that you pick. So yeah. there's matte black that yeah. you all have on. Um, there's a, the rose gold. Yeah. There's a shiny um, metal one, which I feel like would look super cheap. I don't know. Yeah. I can't say that, but. Any plastic that's shiny usually looks really. Not it worked great. out because uh, one of uh, one of the coworkers across the way got his watch in today, yeah. so I gave him my clear one to protect it. Um, and then there's what is their other color? Is it like a gray or something? There was four uh, colors anyway. Uh, sure. Yeah, they're like twenty bucks or something, or eighteen or seventeen dollars. They have just a silver, maybe like a stain, like a silver. Uh, yeah, like the shiny. Yeah, the shiny. It looks like it's silver, the same color as the black, underside of the rose gold. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, and it's just clear. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. You can get a right. two-pack of, of clear. clear. That's right. Uh, but, yeah, super simple. Uh, wrote about them. It got a lot of traffic on the, on the site, I think, because people were just interested in some sort of protective covering. Yeah, because uh, the edge, uh, the bezel of the watch is yeah, it's pretty pretty exposed. Yeah, it's just right there. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's gorgeous. I, I do love the way it looks yep. without it, but the clear one doesn't bother me that much. Um, really doesn't. And these just snap right on. Like, you put this over the... Over the, uh, I mean, to me, this already feels crown like and this is part of the watch. I don't even. Yeah, it's. I love it. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty sweet. It's. Um, it's. Uh, yeah. It's just. It's just a little extra protection <coughs> for the, the dings on the bumps. desk or the. Yeah. I hit mine on the uh, on the uh, doorknob. Oh, hit, Literally the hit first doors, day I put it on, doors, I was like door jams. <gasps> yeah. I was like, oh gosh, because I mean, you're walking and swinging your arm and yeah. you hit it on the doorknob. Like, man, that could that could. Yeah, crack we've already that seen someone on Reddit dropped it from like table height on the floor and it shattered so i've hit mine a couple of times where i feel like it should have exploded and it didn't so i'm fa- i'm glad to have this on yeah yeah, yeah well and so we have polished silver cases uh and you can maybe see well you might be better we'll look at it from that camera so uh the polished silver case with the matte one 
when it, at first it was kind of bugging me a little bit because you can see like the polished silver underneath yeah. the matte. If you had the matte black watch, ooh, well, that would, that would really be good. saucy. But as as I've gotten used to it, looking down at it, it's not, it's not bad. Yeah. And the in almost like I kind of like the little silver crown sticking <laughs> yeah, out. You know, it kind of gives it a little pop. Um, little accents. Yeah, a little accent. Uh, I was looking just now. It is ever ever so slightly raised above the yeah, the screen. Yeah, a slight lip. Slightly just so just if, small if, enough so that you, if it landed dead flat, it, or, it's going to protect. Or if like you take it off and I drop it like this, and right? Just the screen the isn't hitting the table. Yeah, yeah which is which is which nice. Is nice. Um, and then uh, and then yeah, the other thing, and we made uh, we made a little short about this. Robbie wrote an article about it last week of <clears throat> the uh, two tone leather and the crafted the, the leather. Crafted one, yeah. uh, both have. Uh, pins that are removable in the lugs. So, in the lugs. Yeah. So, yeah. so you can pop those off and then put on any twenty millimeter. Well, basically, uh, watch just band. buying the band and then keeping the lugs. Yeah, because yeah. Robbie had Chuck said something about because we we had been saying for weeks, you know, somebody needs to make lugs so you could do this. And then Robbie had said something about so who wrote some is it Ben or somebody wrote somebody tweeted first about popping off and yeah, putting yeah. on their own bands. They're talking about how you'd have to. It, it would break it or yeah, something. Yeah, because I have the the black leather band. I was looking at the the mm. band is right against the lugs. I'm like, man, you probably have to really get in there. Yeah. And then Joe was like, well, what about that? And I forgot. I had my watch tool sitting right yeah, on my desk. because you know? brought it over for me yeah, a while so ago. One end of it has a little U-shaped flat piece of metal. It's, it goes in between the band and the lug so you can the, push down yeah. on the pin. And I popped it in there, and sure enough, boom, it came right. I was yeah. like, uh oh. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> yeah. I only have like one 20 millimeter band at home, but yeah. you could easily go, you could go to Walmart and buy a band for $15 <laughs> yeah. if yeah. you wanted Especially, to. Especially, so the one that I uh, put on, <clears throat> so the crafted leather, whichever color you get, like you had the black crafted the leather. So the, it had black lugs. For the short and for what Robbie posted, we used that with a silver mesh band that I had. It looked okay. Like when once you got it all band, on there, when the silver band was laying on the desk with the it lugs looked attached, real goofy. It looked goofy. Yeah. But then when it was attached, it was like oh, no, that actually, actually like good. looking down at it, I was like, oh yeah, it's not bad at all. But then uh, um, one of our reps was kind enough to send us over the two tone, uh, two tone leather, which yep. has like a little bit of a different style uh, lug where the lug is kind of like uh, kind of a tubular yeah. uh, design and comes down and like kind of hooks right in. Well. The bracelet that I have comes right up and has a little rounded thing, so yeah. it looks yeah. oh, it looks so. It dope. looks absolutely like it was made. Yeah. for that. I don't know that I posted that. I might throw that out on Twitter today. Yeah. It, uh, it looks sweet, and I think I mean that I can't imagine someone's not thinking about it. It makes me think like I wish, I wish we knew a, a manufacturer that could easily fab yeah. something. Yeah. Up I mean, there are fast. so many third party bands already out there. Google obviously allowed manufacturers oh, yeah. months have, ago to have, have CAD, CAD designs. Have the yeah. CAD designs because these aren't just like weird adapters. It's, there are watch bands out there that have this little proprietary, cl proprietary clip. So surely, yeah, and unless Google has explicitly <clears throat> said no, which do I don't that. know why yeah. they would. Uh, I can't imagine yeah. that there aren't going to be some but, out there. But I mean, for because you, you can know. go buy a, a decently affordable Pixel watch band, it might be like twenty bucks or something, and take the band off and just yeah. replace it as you see fit. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it'd be cool to see somebody sell it for like twenty bucks. Right. Here's two metal lugs. Right. Come in black, silver, different designs, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a couple different designs and. You just yeah. pop them on there, and then you just have standard yeah. watch band lugs. Yeah. But then this week we saw Rinky, the same company, Rinky, because I'm waiting for Google's metal band, which isn't coming out till the spring. It's going to be two hundred dollars. Hundos, but man, it looks dope. So instead of a single clasp that opens up like a traditional, and it has a double clasp, so it opens up both ways. It's, it's sweet. It's, and it's, it's got nice the little, Google logo. Yeah, it's got in the there. little G oh, in Bose so on nice. it. It's so, so go, dope. Go watch our unboxing and uh, impressions video. We've yeah, got a shot in there. Yeah, but the Rinky world. has, it's not available yet, but they have on their site a black and silver one. Same, the It's a single class link band, but it's a black and silver, and it's $99, and Rinky makes good stuff, so it'll be really good quality. Yeah. But then this morning discovered another one precision i don't remember it's they're gonna be coming uh, out of the wood yeah there th yeah. there are tons of them on amazon and ebay they're like 20 bucks and you can tell that they're coming from a factory in china but this company already has a full line of galaxy and apple bands and they look like they're probably it's a shopify store but it looks legit but they have black silver rose gold buy them all Let's test them. And you can <laughs> yeah they have them on sale cuz they're new. You can get the watch and a cool little pin removal thing to adjust because you might have to pop pins out uh, to adjust it for $54. Well, and they have a whole line of active 
bands. Yeah, they so have a exactly line of active like bands that are identical to these, but they have like eight or nine colors. They have yeah. like a lime green one. How much were they? 20 bucks or yeah they're 20 or 30 dollars yeah. so yeah so, so we'll we'll, we'll the, get in a few there's of them going and, to be a bunch of yeah by, by uh, christmas time i guarantee you like yeah. you'll be able to go to amazon and pick love up to, love to get some of them in to actually bands. test them you know because yeah. i bought i bought some bands for the uh, galaxy watch for that i ended okay. up not loving and so like i th- some of these bands like i want to get them in and test them so that yeah. way we can actually recommend and say like <clears> hey <throat> If you if you want to buy the the woven band from Google, it's gonna smell like um, <laughs> old an old an old, <laughs> old barn, musty, old musty tent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, because you wouldn't have known that if we didn't actually get it in. So, uh, and we always kind of do that. Like when we review stuff, when we put out, if we we do lists every now and then, or just like we're just finding cool stuff, right? You know, not same, very often. Yeah, yeah. But not very often. Normally, but, we're actually testing. Yeah, and I do want to try them out, especially the link bands, because I have quite a few uh, watches with link bands, and you look at them, you think, oh, it's a it's a stainless steel link band. They're all the same. They're not. I, uh, I've had watches yeah. in the past. Some of them pinch you a yeah, little bit. Yeah, if they're not they... machined properly, and the 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 uh, what are they called on cars? The tolerances aren't correct, yeah. and everything. Yeah. They'll pinch you. They'll pull the hair on your arms. They're uncomfortable. Yeah. They they'll have sharp. Sometimes you'll get Sharp edges bands that have sharp yeah. edges, and you, you they're just uncomfortable to wear. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if this one from wherever for 50 more like bucks. Principle something or? Yeah. Sort of a P. Yeah. Principle. Prince, pre- precision pre- traditional precision, or something. Yeah. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, for 55 bucks, if it's comfortable, if the... Uh, I'm assuming the black one's probably a painted stainless steel. If it yeah. doesn't wear, which they said in their on their thing that they're they're rated to to hold up for years even with water exposure. Or I don't know yeah. who cares. But if they're comfortable and they look good, yeah, I would totally buy that yeah. over the Google one. We'll, we'll test them out, or I'll buy yeah. both. We'll test them all out. Right. Let y'all know uh, for the for the holiday shopping season. I don't have yeah. a problem. You have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We're gonna take a quick break for an ad, and we will be right back. This episode is brought to you by Visor. Do you manage your school district's Chromebooks? If you're tasked with keeping track of Chromebook repairs, loaners, swap outs, and warranties, you need Visor. Visor is a cloud-based Chromebook management solution designed specifically for school districts. Visor seamlessly integrates with the Google Admin Console and your student information system, simplifying Chromebook one-to-one programs. With Visor, you can easily see which student has which Chromebook, manage repairs, and even remotely disable lost or stolen devices while notifying parents all in one click. To find out how Visor can help your school manage Chromebooks and to lock in 20% off, head over to visor.cloud slash unboxed. That's V-I-Z-O-R dot cloud slash unboxed, or just click the link in the show notes. Alrighty, welcome back, everyone. Uh, let's dig in now to some Chrome OS Wait. Flex goodiness. What's that? Goody. Pinnacle Luxuries. Ah, in case yes. you wanted to go order the watch, because they're yeah, available now. Make sure to link. Yeah, they're shipping now. Pinnacle Luxuries is the brand that we has need to. We Can need we to write do a that. Post about it? No, but I will. Yeah, we, we need to do, do that. that and we'll link it because they. I just looked. They have like pink in the active band. They have pink, light green, army green. Nice. They have like twelve different colors. Yeah, that's cool. So. Our uh, one of our uh, well, we've talked about him a lot on here. Kenny, our our old boss, uh, is allergic to the active band. That's why he so was wearing my silicone, woven. Right? I don't know. I don't There's know. There's something in there. He don't don't like him. He showed me like his wrist is still like broken out. It's, it's weird. Very strange. Kenny, I love you, but you soft. <laughs> <laughs> you soft. Put some Benadryl. On you there, soft, man. Kenny. <laughs> Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I never even looked to see what they're made of. Like, how'd yeah. you lose your hand, Kenny? Yeah, I was trying to be a man. Yeah, I was, wouldn't take the Chrome and Falcons guys were making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, um, Chromos Flex. So yeah. we um, were uh, were fortunate enough during our trip to the Google event to spend a little time at the Google offices in Chelsea. Yeah. and get a tour and get to see some behind the scenes stuff that was really awesome some really cool some we can't talk about but one thing that we did want to talk about was our tour of the Chrome OS Flex division yeah, yeah that was our uh, there were Department. a lot of people either division running or out and about or room couldn't be there <laughs> just yeah. a room really An area <laughs> yeah <clears throat> I refer to it in my article today as the lab. It was. It was. That it was, was a lab. Was That's a great, that is a great description. Yeah. But it, uh, yeah. I, you it, should write articles. I know. I for a living. I should. I'll You're think a wordsmith. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'm a wordsmith. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the, 
the tour was was interesting. Um, and, and the thing I wrote today, like I, I jotted down two things I wanted to write about uh, kind of our time there. And um, and I kind of put them together in this in this one article, yeah. basically, because it's been a little bit. And I was just kind of like, eh. I really I wanted to talk about like all the requirements that go through before yeah. a device gets a check. And then also just have an article talking about the room, you yeah. know, the, 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 the device room. And so I kind of blended those together and just made one thing. Um, but yeah, the, we got talking to them about, uh, Chrome OS flex and, and where it came from and, and, you know, how they go about testing all this stuff. And then they walked us back to this room and it's, it is a little bigger than the room we're in now. Yeah. Um, yeah. the, the single room, but the entire room, wall or all the way around is lined with like these little divider cubby things and wooden wooden shelving just yeah all like, across like what you put like file folders in or something but instead of files they're just laptops in every single nook and cranny that you could see and as it turns out you know um all those chromebook or all those laptops on that list of check marked uh chrome os flex compatible devices are in that room, all of them. And not only are they in there, they've it's not so just wild. been, it's not like, Hey, we booted it up to see if it works. Yeah. They actually spent time and, and went through, like you talked about a battery of, of tests. Like, Oh yeah. It, it's got to boot up, but they've got to test the keyboard shortcuts. Right. They had to test all the, all the different keyboard keys that are on there and make sure they're mapped properly and test the trackpad, make sure the Wi-Fi is working. Well, what about Bluetooth and how yeah. about all the ports that are on the side? Right, like, right. We got to do something with all the in. stuff. Uh, and make sure that it's all working before yeah. it's it gets certified. Touched. And so the, it, to me, it was just mind boggling. Cause I'm like, I figured they would just be like, it booted trackpads working keyboard. Yeah. Cause check. He, yeah. He was saying, I can't remember. There was one specific thing where he said, you know, we even test like what happens when you do this. Like if you power, yeah. like just like little things that you would never think of, but they're things that you do normally. Like what, what happens when you, you know, take it off power while you're closing the lid, like stuff that happens in common everyday activities, but not stuff you think about when you're buying a computer. Right. And then, but they, that matters because sometimes, you know, you unplug a device while you're closing it or something, and the EC trips and flips out. And next thing you know, it's crashed. And they're like, these are the things that we test. Yeah. Cause I mean, they're, they're not just, this isn't like a side project where they're like, Ooh. Hey, that's a fun thing that, uh, you know, put your, put Chrome OS on stuff. No. You know, they're suggesting enterprises with, aging computers flip their entire workforce like over to thousands this. of devices right being yeah. able to being able to now recycle and reuse right. these so, old devices that were going to get thrown out most likely right and so if the team is going to be like cool it's check mark it is certified it works with chrome os flex it, it needs to work with it yeah it'd be no different than than microsoft being like sure you can upgrade those to windows 11 it's fine and then you upgrade it and all of them are borked they would be pretty mad at microsoft yeah. and so for google to to kind of sell this a little bit to uh, enterprise because for them if that whole enterprise does that well guess what they're going to go get the enterprise upgrade for every one of those things right. that's where google's and, making money from this and then when they do finally fully age out those devices then they go then they go what? maybe we'll just buy chromebooks maybe we'll just next buy time. some chromebooks right. this and, time around and, and not it's only, brilliant yeah it's really, not only it, that it really you know it's not just for aged out devices we have one here in the office right now it's a it's a brand new mini pc that's designed to ship with a variety of operating systems on it and that's one thing that peter had said was that they're looking at this mass deployment of you know you have a company that needs to buy five thousand units of mini pcs or kiosks or whatever now they can say well we want to buy that one but we want half of them to ship with ubuntu and with the other half with chrome os kiosks enterprise upgrades this and that and whatever and then the flexibility to use it however they need to so like robbie was saying this isn't just like a oh we want to give people some options you know if they want to try to do this they're wanting to equip everything they can with chrome os which yeah. is awesome i mean it was and, and the, the <clears> cool <throat> thing was as we were sitting in there talking which we ended up sitting in there and talking with him for yeah a wow. minute uh, it was the, the well other than uh some other time we spent with with our other with our rep peter this guy was also named peter yeah um it was like the most time we spent in one place oh, yeah. at google we were normally walking around everywhere a lot I, did we, we did anybody track their steps a couple in there? miles we put in. I mean, there were so many steps. We were just going back. And I have to go and, back. And, 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 and our rep, Peter, was hoofing it. He, he was, was. He was trying to get places. He I appreciate it. He wasn't sure where he was. Either. He was a little lost here and there. 
Which is easy to do big, in a massive building. building has, word, not the, the, it's not like it's lined up. And he up doesn't simply. work in that building. I, no. He works over in a different building. Yep. Yeah. He's yeah. at 5,000 employees in yeah, that The building. view is great, though. They have two two floors have really awesome balcony. Terraces. Terrace, yeah. Yeah. veranda, yeah. whatever veranda. you call it. But they were a, a veranda. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'm like, man, could you imagine just sitting here and working? Yeah. It'd be great. Yeah, it it was it was really it was really cool. Like all of that was nice. They had a ton of um, like food options. Like oh every floor had a had a bunch of food options. And like grab kitchens. and grab and go stuff. But then also some like catered micro stuff. Micro kitchens. That's what micro, they call micro yeah, kitchens. Yeah, yeah. So that uh, meant an espresso maker, uh, like a, really a nice legit, espresso. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. grab and go fridges stuff. full of different sodas and and and. Uh, sparkling water. Yeah, but they also food, have a team of fruit, yeah, um, every team of people. Everywhere you turned, you saw like a janitorial team that had Google stuff on. But every micro micro kitchen, we saw this when we were in California too. There were people that would just constantly coming through and refreshing. Like they have cereal dispensers. Yeah. The the stuff is always yeah. kept kept and, up and refreshed. But then they had a full blown kitchen, and I had actually seen Max the Meat guy, a guy I watch on Instagram, go there and cook one time. But Peter was saying, and I am going to take them up on this, you can schedule a class there. They have actual culinary experts and chefs mm-hmm. there. You can go in there and take a cooking class and just cook in their kitchen. I'm like, I'm, I'll be back. Yeah. Uh, can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you might, you, you know, I don't know. You could, you could argue, oh, well, this is like, that's excessive. Why are they wasting money on this? Right. Everywhere you looked, <laughs> everywhere you turned, there are people like engulfed in work and yeah, like yeah. focused and like there's all these little yep. meeting rooms and there's you know we were there at like 5 30 yeah, it was technically after hours yeah. and it was still people everywhere and yeah. we asked peter like do do you all have like set hours and stuff especially for like the engineers i was curious he was like eh, not not really like yeah. i mean obviously people have meetings and stuff they have to come sure. to but but i mean there were several you know engineers that were walking around in there that you could tell had been there for a yeah, little and, while and that's what we talked it like, about it's uh, really cool there are companies that um do things like that to create an environment where people won't leave i, I remember the car, overwork yeah, culture I, and all overwork i remember the car business Let's do stuff to pe- keep it, people here yeah you it, know? it wasn't a written rule but it was expected that on saturdays you did not go to lunch Mm. they bought lunch on Saturdays. They would send someone to, you know, a fast food restaurant or they'd order something from a barbecue joint or something, whatever you did not leave on Saturdays. Cause that's the car. That's the day in car sales here because car, car businesses aren't open on Sunday, but which is a weird it's car businesses and car, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah, car lots, Chick-fil-A's and pawn shops. It, pawn shops. It's, it, and it's, you can't uh, buy alcohol until one o'clock. Yeah. It's, it's some kind of weird rule, but Southern it, anyways, it, there was always this expectation of you, you, you know, you don't leave early, you don't leave for lunch, you don't do that. And it, it was that you've got to be here to make that sale. That's not Google's no, thing. This was now, don't get me wrong. Some of it's maybe that. Google is a business, and at the end of the day, it's all about the bottom line. But if you're creating a healthy work environment where employees enjoy being there, and we saw it when we were in California this weekend, too, uh, it's healthy. People yeah. want to be at work. People yeah, want to be on productive. Working projects that they yeah. enjoy working on. And so, yeah, yep. it's, it was cool. But, yeah, the, the Flex stuff was, was amazing, and I don't know how we got off on a tangent here, but the one thing that I thought was really cool, too, is as we were sitting there, multiple team members came in. They had, like, little Post-it notes with different devices that they needed yeah. Oh, yeah. because they were actively we're working on something that had come up. You know, somebody had messaged and maybe said, hey, you know, we're noticing this is happening on this device. Can you all figure well, it yeah, out? And they're they're going and grabbing that actual device, right? Because Chrome OS Flex it. is on the same version of Chrome OS now as regular Chromebooks. So like they're in lockstep now. Whereas like uh, Neverwhere's uh, Cloud Ready was usually a one or two versions yeah. behind something like that. So they had a little bit of a buffer zone there to kind of work kinks out before they moved forward. And so uh, there, it's not that anymore, yeah. but it's a, you know, it's a relatively small team. I think he said like 14, 12, four, 14, 14, yeah. I think is what he said. So yeah. it's, it's not like some huge team working on it, but uh, it was super yeah. interesting uh, yeah. to see that, to actually see it, you know, and, and walk in there and again, it's just to see all those Chromebooks on the wall or, or not Chromebooks, uh, uh, Windows uh, laptops. And so one of the devices that was in there was the uh, Surface SE, the Microsoft Surface Laptop SE, which was, I looked it up today just to make sure I wasn't misremembering this, but it was dubbed by a lot of news places uh, just last November, by the way, as the uh, Microsoft's Chromebook killer. 
I oh, remember yeah. watching. And now it's of, not yeah. available now anywhere. You can't yeah. buy it. We found one on eBay, so Did we're going to get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's get it's it. It's on its way. And I put it in the article. I'm like, I'm going to let you all know it's coming, and we're going to take the Chromebook Killer and make it into uh, a Chromebook. I bet it's going to be a killer Chromebook. <laughs> ah. Ooh, that's the title. That's the title. We turned this Chromebook Killer into, wait a for killer it. Killer Chromebook. Chromebook. Uh, yes. That's. That's amazing. Uh, I love you guys are good. That was good. That one's, gonna, that one's free. Write articles. You're, you're, you're <laughs> yeah. good. So yeah, it's, what's it got in it? It's Celeron forty twenty. Yeah, buddy. I mean, it's fine for a Chromebook. It is. It'll be just fine for Chrome OS. Flex. It's gonna look great. It's gonna. It look is a nice looking little yeah, device. Their laptops, even their. What's cheap the screen stuff? like on that thing? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I saw it one time. They had it at Best Buy at one point. Cause was I remember it, it was is it student edition? Is that what that's for? Okay, that's what it's for. It was meant for kids. Uh, huh. a easily repairable, like field serviceable kind yeah. of thing. Um, Can so, we drop test it when we're done? <laughs> whatever we want. It's ours. Whatever the heck we want. It will be nice to have Oops, a device sorry. that is fully, like we're, we're going to go through the actual install. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're not just going to run it off of the yeah, USB. I, and, and I think, so it'll be nice to have a round of tests. Like, yeah, I think what we do is as soon as we get it out of the box, we put the drive in it and install it. Don't even do the uh, the just testing it from the... Certified. Yeah. Sure, straight it's out. Bona fide. I, I like that. <laughs> hey, we're gonna we're gonna put Google certification to That's the test. That's what I put in the article. Yeah, I was sure. like, we're not gonna bother it's doing all that crap. Bona fide. I like. After it. watching what they're doing from a certification standpoint, it if it's got a check mark on there, I feel it. very confident. Absolutely. Everything we've tried on is not on that list so far. So. Now my laptop that's in there that's that we run the golf simulator on, it's not on the list. But man, it runs real sweet mm-hmm. off the USB. Um, not that I'm going to replace it anytime soon. Yeah, uh, my but I, I feel like it would work really did well. Did not do so. Well. It was a very yeah. old MacBook. Yeah, yeah. we have a whole yeah. whole video about that mess. Yeah. But um, and then we just got busy with other stuff and we forgot to make an actual video of doing it successfully. Uh, so no, we knew we had to will, go buy something. It will yeah. not work on the M chips, right? I don't think. I don't, I don't think, think so because they're not doing the ARM art. Because yeah. no, I, um, I think it's pretty much Intel yeah. only right X86 now. Six stuff, um, and they've made it pretty clear too. Like they're. We asked him about man, touch screens. Yeah. You know, so you're going to work on that stuff. Then you're like, uh, it's not really that big yeah. of a. And well, that's what, that's yeah. not where and their what aim was, is. What was the response with uh, Android apps as we were asking about Android apps? Um, you're introducing way too much volatility right. into a. Uh, he didn't well, say, he didn't say never. Yeah. Um, but. You know, as as we all know, Android apps on right. Chromebooks aren't. But it's exactly like, yeah, great. and it's like when I asked him about like printers and stuff like that, um, he said, because uh, I can't remember. Oh, I'd asked him about like uh, label printers and stuff because Chrome OS is very big in the kiosk and point of sale. So obviously printers would be a big addition. But he said their, their mantra with this is kind of, we want to make it work as well as we can on the hardware that we have. We'll pursue that stuff when our enterprise accounts Need it. request it when yeah, they absolutely. say hey look we'd really love to deploy 10,000 devices with uh, thermal printers then we'll tackle that problem right, so right. Don't, they, don't look for progressive stuff out of Chrome OS Flex but look for stable stuff and responsive well, stuff yes, like, yeah. reactive. The, yeah. the whole thing is reactive Good word. a group wants something and they're like cool let's make that work for right. them as a result, it'll work for everybody else as well. But, but, but we but, want to make sure it works for yeah, them too. But, but you know, for, uh, on, on the base layer, everything that they are doing is working. Like, that's yeah. the and cool it, part. And yeah. because now they're in step with Chrome OS, it, right. it which benefits that's, that's, Chrome OS too. Yeah. Like, all the stuff that they're doing, if, which is if there's very stuff that cool. gets merged into Chromium OS, basically, because of this, yeah, benefits yeah. Chrome OS too. It's yeah. more more features they have there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's one other thing I was going to say, but I'm not yeah, for certain that we're allowed to talk about. No, they yeah. do. Uh, depending on the device, you do get Linux app support. Obviously, it's going to need to be a later model device. But that that Chromebox I have in there has a uh, yeah Elkhart Lake processor. It's one yeah. that we've not seen, and uh, it's just one of those in between uh, processors. It's not a new generation, but it's a 12th yeah. gen like yeah. Celeron or something. But it it had Linux apps out of the box. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I th- and like yeah, it's it's just this this really interesting uh, approach from Google to like get more Chrome OS out there into the world, yeah. you know, and and I still it's such a small team, and that's the other thing that was cool about Google, and we can come back to whatever else you were saying about Flex here, but you you people always talk about oh well it's Google, they have all these people, and it's like no, there's 14 people on this team on this particular project, you know? yeah, and that and they are fairly siloed in that way, like these people are. Obsessed and focused on that. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. It was it was very very cool. Yeah. Shout out to Peter. Um, I'm not going to try to say his last name. <laughs> what was it? L- started with an L. 
No, it's an F. Freudenberger. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah. It. You know. It. I <laughs> was it Freudenberger? Just make that. Up? Yeah. I was like, That's yeah. what I said earlier. <laughs> we were trying to remember his name. He's like, what? No. <laughs> like I'm looking just at like it. Freudenberger, and I was like, Is it really? You just make that up. Just I mean, it was on Wikipedia, so it had to be right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the uh, you know the, the one thing I would like to see them budge on a little bit, and I totally forgot to ask him about this when we were up there, uh, is allow the the usb partition to be changed right. yeah so if i've got a 128 gig usb stick take and I, advantage of it let me let me install it and, and let me let me explain that out to this because i might yeah. not want to put it on there but you know what if all i've got with me is a windows laptop i don't want to be forced to use yeah. windows if i have chrome it's, os flex so you're right wanting here. to make your own chrome bit is what you're wanting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which uh, someone needs to do, by the way. That would be reason. awesome. Why uh, is that not a thing? Has to be a reason. I, th I think what they their intention there is they don't want to muddy the waters here. This is a test from USB. It's for a testing thing. Because then you're going to have people that are going to be doing that, and they're going to be plugging it into a lot of different hardware that they haven't tested. So that's guess, maybe... That they encourage you, people to test. So right. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. Is that when when you plug a USB stick that has Flex on it, and you boot up into the test of Flex? Is it sending all of that? It has to be sending all that data to to Google for them to like see if it's working well or not. Like well, I wonder if it's doing yeah feedback, because you, you have to you have to connect to Wi Fi and check the terms and conditions to go through. Yeah, the so they're gonna yeah. they'll at least get the, yeah. the basic general like is this working diagnostics? Or not? Or because yeah, like what you were saying though, if if this allows for Flex to get on more and more devices and they're seeing more data to help them decide which ones they should yeah, you know no certify next to. why not yeah, yeah, yeah sure um and it may be just something that they hadn't thought too much of uh, yeah. but that's one of those things like mm, i might try to follow up yeah see if we, can't see if we get a hold of a little bit because it would be awesome i've got a little usb 3.2 itty bitty thing it's the size of like a logitech dongle and it's 128 gigs it's what i use to test flex on uh that laptop in there and i'm like this would be really helpful for a lot of people i think because you can run it very well off a USB 3 connection. I mean, that bus is fast enough to really not notice it and not have to do the full install. Like, you could run it and never even think it. Like, leave that little dongle in there and it's fine. And, oh, oops, I booted up without that in there. Cool, it's going to boot to Windows. No big deal. Like, that, I don't see a downside to, to allowing. It would just be a simple matter of when you do the install, right. you know, how, how much partition do you want to make? Or during the setup process, the first time you run it, would you like to partition the rest of this drive for Chrome OS Flex. Sure. Yeah. yeah that would be been it's, great. It's unusable yeah. anyway. We were in Indianapolis and I had to, <clears throat> there was no wireless printers anywhere in the hotel, but I needed to print uh, the tickets for the, I think we were going to the zoo. I don't remember. So I went down to their business center. Um, Windows, I don't know, Windows 2000. Used to, they were bad, whatever they were. And I'm like, dude, if I could just pop something in here and do that, yeah, would be pull great. Pull it out of your bag, plug yeah. it in, boot it up into that, and yeah. do your boop, work, boop, boop, boop. take it with you. <laughs> yep. I mean, I, I love it. Yeah, it's Chrome OS to go, baby. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> Chrome to go. Yeah. Chrome I, mean, go. <laughs> I think it'd be awesome. So I don't know. Um, you know, they, they, I, they could have reasons why they'll yeah. never do that, but maybe they won't. Maybe it'd be really sure. cool if they. You know, opened it up and let that happen. Sure. Let's talk. Uh, let's talk one other quick thing before we head out today. Uh, I'm hoping I'll have the video done uh, before this goes out. But if not, video will be coming out very soon. Uh, Robbie's review of the Acer Chromebook Five. Robbie's tech reviews. Robbie's tech reviews. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Robbie's tech reviews. Robbie. Robbie recommends uh, Chromebook Acer 516 GE Gaming Edition. I still don't like that. I know it stands for Gaming Edition, but I just GE. Don't want it. GE. Yeah. Hot they, take because they don't want to put they like if they put gaming in there. It's I not, don't know. They're not quite ready to call it a predator. Yeah, it's not like yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's also it's like it's cloud, cloud gaming yeah. focused. Go, it's not Lenovo even really called, a, there's gaming a gaming laptop. Chromebook, there's is the gaming Chrome, but I don't know. GE. That's just General Electric. It's always going to well, be General yeah, Electric. Yeah, we we live in a near a town that is uh, a lot of GE, so yeah, maybe we so. we go there. Not GTE, which is a different that's company. What my dad worked for yeah. forever. GT General go, Telephone Electronics used to go down there and hang out in the phone store. They had all the cool back when you used to go. 
go to the story. phone company to get your phone. Yeah. Oh my you gosh. Have phones? We should yeah. <laughs> we should put that we Twitter. Should, I'm I was not gonna ta- say yeah. we should include the uh the hands free. Ta- yeah, I'm not talking about cell phones. I'm talking about phones, phones that you phones. plug into the wall. You go in there, they had like the Garfield what one. What was that oh, yeah. that the thing from Twitter was nineteen ninety three? Something like that. It was a, a piece of Velcro <laughs> and basically a headband from a headphones. Yeah. You'll be so much more productive at the office. And you pinch a phone onto your face, <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, like this guy's there, trying like, to... Talking, that's, the big cord coming yeah, off of that's it. That's how Plantronics got their start, man. Yeah. I'm telling you. That's hey. great. What else? Yeah. But yeah, uh, the, okay. the Chromebook GE, uh, I love it. I, I It's one of my favorite there you go. Chromebooks <laughs> One ever. second right. review. <laughs> that's it. Appreciate yeah. you all. <laughs> uh, no. Um you know, the whole gist of the, the narrative of the review basically came down to Acer made some adjustments to build a gaming-focused Chromebook and I think kind of stumbled onto just a great formula for just a fantastic overall Chromebook. Um, and it comes down to, you know, the screen is awesome, uh, 16 inches, quad HD, 120 hertz, super bright. Um, it's just a great-looking screen. Yeah. It's so Are nice they all to matte? look at. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there's no touch in them. That's one of the things I kind of dinged a little bit. I'd like to see a touch screen. Um, Asus. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Asus is like, hey, we'll take this Chromebook from last year and <laughs> make it a gaming Chromebook. Hey, it's it's a least, CM. At least it's a good Chromebook now. <laughs> it, it, and it was it was a good Chromebook back then too. It just it I don't know it. You're a liar. No, the CX. I'm sorry, the CX. <laughs> oh, this. Yeah, the CX. Yeah, not the CX. My wife's got the CX5. And I'm like, it's yeah, the still AMD good one. It's got really good speakers. Uh, super dim screen though, and so like Acer, Acer has kind of got most of this stuff right. Like, it doesn't have fingerprint scanner. Um, what was the other? Oh, I limited, wish it had one more USB yeah, A port. Ports, yeah, so just one. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so like, especially on a gaming device, you're probably going to have a either a hardwired mouse or like a, like a Logitech dongle plugged in there i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lean on a bluetooth mouse for gaming no um <clears throat> you could i'm not saying you couldn't but uh you're generally gonna have something plugged in so like, like you got one a port and that's it um uh, so one more a port and it would have been fine because it's got a full-size hdmi it's got multiple usb type c's so uh, the other ports are fine uh, wi-fi 6e bluetooth 5.2 again quad hd 16 by 10 16 inch screen but you get this big chromebook that's only 3.75 pounds. So most of these 15, 16 inch Chromebooks are four and a half to five pounds. And right. So, I mean, it's shaved off a ton it's and crazy. you can tell it. You oh pick, yeah. Pick mean, it, like, carrying it it's in. It's funny because I was Ooh. watching your review of the C433 from 2019. Yeah. And that was one of the things you pointed out is like for a premium ish kind of this thing's heavy. It was like 3.3 yeah. pounds. It was very heavy. It for was what was supposed awkward. to be a sleek aluminum device. I'm like, <laughs> this thing's a porker. Thing's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but then the keyboard, you know, obviously they, they had to put an anti-ghosting keyboard. All all three of the gaming Chromebooks have that so that you can, I guess, push down a bunch of buttons at the same time. Because, I don't know, even with gaming, I'm like, I could see me holding like two or three. Um, but, like, I think it's up to ten at a time. It, it can take, yeah. like, so simultaneously. Yeah, whatever. ghosting happens at six on a regular keyboard. So it'll do over that easily. So if you really want to mash them, go for it. Uh, but... Because of that, they probably had to put one of their better keyframes on it. So, it, like typing on it's really great. Uh, the little RGB keyboard's a fun touch. It could be brighter, but whatever. Um, but then it's, you know, aluminum lid, aluminum bottom plate. The top is where the keyboard is, is that kind of stuff that they've been using in Chromebooks for a while. So, it's good. It's plastic, but it's good. Yeah. Um, their, the, the trackpad is their ocean glass trackpad, which they've been just killing it with that thing for. It's getting to the point where like a few you years, don't know like the difference. I don't need edge glass. Um, if they're going to make their their trackpads that good, yeah. I, don't, I don't think there's any need for it. Uh, and it's recycled, so it makes you feel a little bit better. Uh, but the click mechanisms are perfect. It's probably after years of me harping about bad click mechanisms, like they've stopped shipping them bad with Acer. Like every right. wait, Acer which one of those is going to Chrome Unbox? <laughs> fix it. And make sure it's good. Yeah, uh, they've just been solid. Um, and this is a, it's so it's great trackpad, great keyboard upward firing stereo speakers that sound really yeah. good i mean they're not the best speakers you've ever heard on a laptop but they were good yeah. like can you play games and it's it's wide enough like it's really immersive and like it's great uh and the screen again is just 
beautiful. I love nice the thin screen. Bezels. It's yeah. yeah. It's, and since it's not convertible or anything, they, they don't have to find ways to put extra hinging and stuff in there. So yeah. if you're really going to game bezels. on it, though, you're going to have to get out your real tech wired oh, speakers yeah. with the little knob on. It. But uh, you know, it's it's nice. It's been nice to the desk to hook it up to my 120 hertz bigger screen. They're both quad HD now, and they're both 120 hertz. And so it's just got this really nice, like for me working, I think they're almost the same brightness too. Mm -hmm. So like the continuity at my desk is fantastic, but it's a big Chromebook that when we, we went on a trip, you know, it wasn't to New York. I took it, but I took it out to California on our last trip and, you know, doing a couple posts out there with nothing else other than just the Chromebook. Like there's enough room here to, to feel like I'm not working from some tiny screen when I'm used to working on multiple monitors. Um, and again, the, the the lightness of it, the the battery life's good. Seven to eight hours of use. At, I think seventy percent brightness. So I mean, and it's a bright screen. So I, Core i five twelve forty p. So it's a sixteen thread processor with eight gigs of RAM, two hundred fifty six gigs of NVMe storage. So it connects to everything you want. It it is crazy fast. It's got a gorgeous screen. Yeah, it's light enough for that large of a Chromebook that it doesn't feel like I'm carrying around this big blundering Chromebook. It's weighted really well. It looks very nice. It's got a couple little accents that make you feel like it's a little kind of gamery. Like yeah. the Acer logo has this RGB. If you tilt, yeah. tilt it, I tried to get it on camera. It's hard to it's, get. It's a very shot of it. subtle. Yeah. Uh, and so if you take it to a meeting, like I had it in our meetings uh, while we were in California, and I didn't feel like. I'm a nerd getting out this big, you know, crazy transformer looking device. Yeah. I just, it just looks like a laptop, yeah. you know, and, and it costs less than your average premium Chromebook. Yeah. It's the I mean, crazy part. It's a better experience than damn near every Chromebook that's yeah. out there. And it's 650 uh, MSRP. I yeah. have no problem saying that if those sound like good specs to you or things that you want in a Chromebook, go get it. Yeah. And that's not, so, I mean, you it, think about the, um, the uh, framework is about the same device from a yeah from a spec, from a standpoint. spec standpoint. And how much is it? A thousand grand. Yeah, yeah. Which um, I mean, I know you're getting the modularity and all that stuff, but still. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm having a hard time feel, figuring out what else I would recommend for someone looking for something anywhere near this Chromebook. Yeah. Like it's it's the one I would say, yeah, go get this thing. And we haven't even seen sales yet. They'll happen. I mean, yeah. It's Acer. It's at Best Buy. Oh, it's yeah. going to be on sale. Dude, that like, thing goes $150 off. Watch out. It's going to be crazy. I mean, because yeah. again, it, it, at $650, i am like, go get it. Yeah. Like, because right honestly, the it. Lenovo isn't, isn't spec nearly as nice. The one that's out right now, it's an i3. It's still a nice device. We yeah. haven't got our hands on it yet. But yeah, from, we did. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, we did. That's true. It's not as nice. <laughs> well, we just had the regular version, right? Not the gaming version? No, that was it. When did we get it? We didn't get it. We saw it, though. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. I was totally confused there. For that <laughs> that week was a blur. Yeah, it's, anyway. it's, it's okay. Yeah, like, I it's think okay. It's going to be nice. It's not going to be as nice as the Acer. No, it's nowhere near as nice as the Acer. But it but might be touchscreen. I didn't think about that. It, right. That'll be it. Uh, that could be a difference. I don't, I don't think remember. it is. Anyways, the Walmart version, which is the i3 version, was three ninety nine. Yeah, people bought that thing like crazy. It's now gone back to retail of six something. I wouldn't recommend it at all. The i3 so, is, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So or five ninety nine, maybe something like that. But the Acer, they knock a hundred dollars off that Acer. Yeah, that's a great, Everyone should go buy that Chromebook. It's a great deal. And I think, so I, I just think it's six fifty. It's, it's still a great deal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because sure, sure. I look at I'm, I mentioned it in an article today. The uh, seven fourteen is two hundred dollars, two hundred thirty dollars off right now. Yeah, it's four ninety nine. That's an amazing price. That thing it is, is it's worth. A really good Chromebook. It retails for seven twenty nine. I don't think 729 is too much for that Chromebook. It's a convertible touchscreen. You get mm -hmm. all that. It's the same thing they did with the 713. So I agree with you. I think what it's 649. 649. For the, yeah. yeah. It's, it's totally worth it. Price. Especially if you really do want something that feels like a gaming Chromebook. Yeah. And, and we haven't even talked about the gaming. <clears throat> like, yeah. Yeah. Like GeForce Now, that top tier on this Chromebook. Cause again, it was built to take advantage of all the things GeForce Now does. Right. Yes. Xbox and Luna are included. These guys are, those are bench players. The, the GeForce Now experience is what this thing was built for. 120 hertz at literally at 1600p is what it supports. It's the exact screen that's on this thing, and it's saucy. Awesome. It is fantastic. Like I have, I'm starting. I was ex getting excited. We were filming B-roll of this thing, and I in two arena matches, not they're not full blown matches of Apex. I've got I had five 
kills on there. That's and fun. I was just like, woo, I'm, I'm starting to get yep. it. I'm starting yep. to get it back. And so you can actually get better at games versus, <clears throat> I feel like cloud gaming for a little while there, for those types of games, it was just like, hey, look, it's running. I'm not actually going to play this. Yeah, you're right. It's going to stutter all the time. No. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm just going to get owned if I try to play this in here. So I'm not going to mess with it. I don't feel like that anymore. Yeah. Like I feel com- as can't competitive wait. as I can be, which I now I yeah, got to. I can't wait for so Steam bad. to get there because like, there's so many games on Steam where I used to be really good, and I'm like, I feel like when I get on there right now, it's that same thing. It's like I feel like I'm at a disadvantage. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. And, this- and this this Chromebook. As far as the Chromebooks that are available right now, I mean, we're assuming that there will be some with GPUs down the road, like discrete GPUs. But for right now, it'll be top dog as yeah. far as Steam games go mm-hmm. um, with that, that 1240p yeah. at Core i5. Yeah. And, uh, there is a version of it coming, I think, with 16 gigs of RAM. And mm-hmm. I get, do they upgrade mm-hmm. the storage in it? I don't know, because Asus's 16 gig is available on their site, but it's not... It might be 512, it might be 16512 yeah. for the upgraded Acer, but it's not It's not there yet. Because I think Asus is, it's $30 more, but all you get is the RAM. But you get 16, yeah, gig, 16 gigs of RAM for 729 I think. And it's yeah. weird, because you don't need that to cloud game. Right. Like, we were no. filming B-roll today, and I'm running, the game is like I'm in the middle of a match, three fingers swipe up and jump out and you know mess around. I've got YouTube videos running in the background, and because it's not taxing the local machine. Exactly. It's, it's just... It's literally no different than it streaming some video. Yeah. Um, which and is it's, crazy. And, and it's, it's responsive. So it's good. looks great. Gosh, it's good. And I get like a professional gamer might pick it up and be like, mm, I can tell there's a little bit of hesitation here. I, I can't. Right. Yeah. Like it's gotten so good. Like I'll if, get in these matches. If your Wi Fi's if your Wi Fi is not great, we had a couple issues when yeah. we were first testing in here. This room but I figured away from today, our router. Today it wasn't the it, it wasn't an issue. Remember it connected down to the coffee shop. There's a coffee yeah. shop next door. I think some, we could have had a bad server that one yeah. day. Yeah, we should that put a, or po- we should I put think a point in here. Was being weird. We should. Do we have any points we could put in here? It's we like, have an extra. It's over there, all crusty, looking at us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> don't even know where the charger is, or the, the the power is for it. Um, Who knows? So, so yeah, I mean, it, this is this is a great device for anybody who's interested in gaming. But I think it's just a great device overall Absolutely. too for anybody who is is looking at this and they're like, oh, well, I don't want a gaming Chromebook. Uh. You don't have to have RGB on. The RGB can be turned off. Yep. You can or select you can set it any, to a color. I like set I've, it in any color, which looks nice, like subtle. The Indigo has been really nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Like if the back isn't the, gaudy, there's some yeah, yeah, there's some really good Chromebooks out there right now for a, at, at good prices. But if you came to me and said, I want a premium Chromebook, but I absolutely do not want a convertible, but I want something that I can take to work with me, I'd go buy this. Yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm <clears throat> I'm already moved on to another review and. Sad. Not gonna lie, sad. Sad. We're like picking it up to do B roll on it today. I was like, "Ooh, I missed you already." Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's it's been a little while since I've had that kind of reaction, like to a. Yeah, Chromebook, you've talked about it a lot. Where it's come out of nowhere, yeah. where I'm just like, ah, "I'm gonna review this. This will be fun to play games on and stuff." And I'm like, <laughs> "Whoa, I just wait. like yeah. this device. I yeah. like working on this device a lot." And I yeah. think most of it is the screen size versus the weight. Yeah. Like, I sure. like having a bigger Chromebook. So when I'm, if on a Saturday morning I want to work, how is it compared to that Asus? The Asus, the weight, the big weight, yeah. Asus, yeah, or the, got, the isn't the that the gamer. big one? That's the big one. We got the new gaming one. Oh, I too. haven't even seen the gaming one. Uh, that's what I'm working on right now. Mm. Um, it's it's. I want to say that thing feels like it weighs like five pounds. It feels very heavy. The, <laughs> I forgot it was over the there. Sixteen inch one. Oh yeah. yeah. Sorry, Asus. We. It's, it, yeah. It's been a weird month. Yeah. I forgot it. Like we did our unboxing on it and yeah, stuff. Did, um, did it feels short. like the CX five, just a little bigger. Yeah. It's it's a screen. It's yeah. a 215 inch screen. Right. It's, yeah, don't love it. Sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah, but yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. But <clears throat> I, oh, great. like it, it, I just like having a Chromebook that if on a Saturday morning I want to sit down and, and and get some work done at the house that I don't feel constrained that I you know I, I've always liked the idea of maybe, extra, maybe I'll just carry yeah. a little tablet around and stuff yeah. and I know what that's like if if I need to actually get a bunch of work done that's you end up getting tough. fatigued. Yeah, looking yeah. at a little bitty screen. You know, 13 or 14 inch Chromebook is fine for getting some stuff done and, and working out and about. And for some people's workflows, it's completely right, but fine. But imagine if you had to like do some web work. 
Yeah. And all you had was like a 13 inch device. So get that, especially 16 inches at quad HD. Like really that resolution, nice. if I really want to, I can knock it down closer to its. its you can uh, have inter- two like its big actual, windows open and yeah. be getting something done on both of them. Yeah, yeah. So if I get closer, you know, if I go native resolution, everything's really tiny. But a couple bumps up from native resolution, I can still yeah. read it and I get the feel. Yeah. I'm technically getting the same pixel count as what I got on my desk. Right. And so it's, it's pushed down physically yeah. smaller, but. Um, it does allow between that and virtual desks, I can get pretty productive on that thing pretty yeah. quickly. And you know, the trackpad's so good and the keyboard's so nice. Like it's just a great yeah. work experience and it's, it's nice to watch video on stuff yeah, too. Sure. The, the screen's great. Full, Refresh, 100% yeah. sRGB and I don't know. I, I the, just, I have very little to fault it for. Can you scale, uh, or can you adjust the, um, the refresh to no. drop it down? No, the, the, the time now they are the working. Lenovo did, did, was doing that. Like when it was off battery, it went right. to 60. When you plugged it in, it went to 120. This, this one's not doing now, that? Now, there is a variable refresh rate flag in the works, but I'm not sure how it's going to – I don't know how it's going to parse that to say, well, it'd be dope. for this, do that. Cause drop I mean, it down to 90 to save some battery. Well, you know? yeah, I don't yeah. know if it's ever going to be user-controlled or not. I think it's just huh. going to be based on it the should. content. I mean, they already yeah. have it. It's do in that the settings on, yeah, on my – display my one on the right. desk I, I manually set it to 120 yeah or i could true. set it to 144 or i could set it to 60 or i could yeah. set it to 30 yeah. oh there is a flag it's a flag i don't know that it'll ever be on but there is a display all refresh rates flag huh. well i mean i i don't i don't check and see if that works because right now for your internal display it's not it doesn't even display any refresh rates right like you don't get the option until you plug in an external monitor mm, right and you get that, that it's a sec you know a little section for external display, monitors yeah. Um, so yeah, huh. I would love for them to do that just yeah. to give you the option. That yeah, it, sure. But you know, that would fall under all the battery saver stuff that we've wished would be around too. I yeah. wish that there yeah. was, when I unplug, there needs to be like, Hey, okay. p- bring the processor down a bit. Like, let me choose if I would like to do right. that. Like on windows, it's convoluted as I'll get out. It doesn't need to be this difficult, but you know, uh, there should just be a basic battery saver yeah. thing. And yeah. in that battery saver settings, here are the few things you can do. Right. One, you know, kick my brightness down on my screen. Two, ramp down my CPUs a little bit. Yeah. And three, turn down my I refresh think, rate now from six from one twenty to sixty yeah. right. or to thirty. I think I think the Mac kind of handles it the opposite way, where I have to turn on the all the performance all the time. Right. Normally, its normal state is automatically adjusting all yeah. of that stuff. And that's how yeah. Windows does. I mean, yeah. Windows pulls everything like, back for video editing it. and stuff. We have that. We have that Mac cranked all the time. Right. Who cares? Well, and for you know, for Google's credit, you know. Chromebook batteries are good enough that right. you don't have to, to worry about, worry about that that much. much. Yeah. Uh, so it's not it's not ramping anything when it's off charge and yeah, I'm still getting seven eight hours of battery on yeah. it, which is great. But if I wanted to make it last twelve hours, if I turned that <laughs> frame rate down yeah. and, and and went down to eight cores on the CPU or eight threads instead of sixteen, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it would probably do well. Yeah. Uh, We'll see. They've been working on it. I don't know if yeah. they're ever going to actually put that out or not. But this is a dope device, and I, uh, I, really I hadn't do. spent much time with it. Uh, Robbie's been hogging it, uh, but it's always like whenever I get to film B-roll, I'm always you know setting it up and testing a couple little things just to kind of get get a feel for a device. And uh, and yeah, I'll echo even just my quick little time, and I'll echo what Robbie's saying. This is a this is a great device for anybody. It's not just a great gaming right. device. Yeah. It's a great yeah. Chromebook period. And and uh, yeah, out out and available. You can go check it out. Uh, the review, the video review and, and all that will be hopefully out by the time you're listening to this. If not, it's been a crazy week. So yeah. if I don't get it done, uh, it'll be early next week. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, check, uh, check that out and you can get kind of the full scoop on all of Robbie's <clears throat> thoughts. But I think that's it for this week. We appreciate you all tuning in and, and watching and listening. If you are watching, make sure to go down there, give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and click the little bell. Ding ding. Yep. <laughs> Get, we need it. Just like ding. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Yeah. Be higher pitch. Ding. They need to. They need to. Google needs to sell that for for YouTubers. Yeah. It should look all cartoony. <laughs> it's a little cartoony, like three D printed. They changed their font like this again. guy, like the icons. Yeah. I know. Twitter I, did. I know. This week too. Yeah. Everybody's, everybody's like, everybody's, let's let's just change our little confusing icons. Confusing us. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, do those things. It helps us out a lot, and we appreciate it. All right, that's it for this one. We'll catch you all next week. See you.